We get asked all the time what stroller we decided to go with for twins. And it was kind of, it was an adventure for us to decide ourselves. options for strollers for twins we did a lot of a lot research, research before because we knew that we wanted to get more of a high-end stroller one that would last us through all of our kids and so it was really important for us to have something that would be durable and something that we could transition as we have more kids and things like that and also with twins you have a little bit of a difference with other strollers is you need something that can support the similar weight of both children as they grow yeah because some strollers they are made like for a, a bigger back. child and a smaller and child smaller, yeah. and not two of the same size but we actually went and tested a bunch of strollers out and while we were there the owner of the store was a twin mom and it was a big sell day and she happened to have four other friends that were there that had twins as well. And we talked to them all and every single one of them had a different stroller and- Like them for different reasons. A couple options for twin strollers is there's the Bugaboo Donkey. That one is a side-by-side -side stroller. Which we've heard is great, except for sometimes if you have With car doors, seats, you can't, yeah. the, with the car seat attachments on it, you can't get through a door sometimes on it. Yeah. But without the car seat attachments, you can get through a door on Sometimes it. Sometimes you use double doors or things, or take them off. So we didn't want to mess with that. Yeah. Another option is the City Select stroller. We had a couple friends who had really used that, but we had one friend who had trouble getting their stroller open and closed. But I've heard really great things about that stroller. Ultimately, we were deciding between three strollers. They were the Upper Baby Vista, the Thule Sleek. And the third one was the Nuna Demi Grow. And the reason why we we're leaning, especially towards the Nuna, is because we knew right off the bat, especially with twins, that we wanted to get the, the lightest car seats around. And so this is the the Nuna Pippa Light. Is it Pippa yeah. or Pippa? I don't know. I call it Pippa. Pippa. I don't the know. Nuna Pippa Light. And I mean, these things are so light. We just knew we're going to be carrying at times two, one in each arm. We knew that we needed to have a stroller that could adapt. Up a baby Nuna and the Thule could all adapt. Have little adapters to the Nuna other. car seat. And a couple things that we were looking for besides like durable and transitioning with our family is it needed to be Disneyland approved. That was really big for us. Yep, sir. so it couldn't be too big so that you couldn't take it into Disneyland. <laughs> uh-huh, and it also needed to be have a big enough little cargo space to be able to put our diaper bag and any extra goodies, but we also wanted it sleek and like compact. Easy to travel with. Because yeah. we knew with twins, we needed to be able to have our hands accessible, and after like talking to my sister and stuff, she was like, you should just bring your stroller everywhere. You should bring it with you to church, you should bring it with you to restaurants, you should bring it with you while they're still little so you can have them strapped in, have your hands free and so we needed something that could easily move around really quickly and that wouldn't take up too much space but be able to work for our needs ultimately we decided to go with the Thule sleek and it really is sleek it is it such an awesome stroller I had a friend who had this stroller and that's actually why we looked into it and we love it it's been awesome so we are going to show you how it works, we're gonna take it outside, show you how we switch it from the car seats to the bassinets to the chairs, the little upright chairs and all of that. It's gonna be fun. Jake's closing it right now to show you how we open and close it. It's nice, the, the wheels come off real easily like this. So, so if, if you, you need, need to, to it take it apart. Area or like, yeah, if it doesn't fit. Um, These are adapters on it and I to just- To double it up, yeah. Because normally you don't have to have them, but since we have two babies. Yeah, so normally it just has the one. Yeah, so we have a second set of adapters. When I put this in the back of the car, I leave all the adapters on. It's so easy for me to be by myself and pull it in and out. I leave the handle out, I leave everything ready to roll. These are the little car seat adapters so that go on. The, yeah, the These Nuna. work with the Nuna car seats. And it's great, they just pop right on. And then we just pop both of the car seats on. They go in just right on the sides. And that's in. The reason we wanted to go with the Thule is because the girls aren't completely stacked on top of each other. Yeah, the Nuna, was, the Nuna was really compact, but 
they were like opposite direction and like stacked like and really tight so i felt right like here. this was roomy enough yep. but didn't take up so much space either yeah this is it with the car seats on it nice. and the great thing is too the buttons still work on it so like if you need to push this down yeah. you can easily push that down when we're at church i'll just if i need to pull a girl out i can pull them out if we need to walk around, we can do that too. And the great thing is, even with the girls in it, you can easily push with one hand. Yep. I go on walks all the time with the girls. And with and Zeke, in one, Zeke yeah. in one hand. And he needs one hand for himself. <laughs> <laughs> but when we go for walks, we actually use the bassinets. We had just ordered these and they are super cool. And they are so soft and cozy. I'll show you how we take these off and then we'll change those out. So it's really easy. You just pull those off. And then, obviously and then those adapters come off that are for the car seat. And pop those. These are really awesome because girls will fall asleep in here. And the great thing is when they're done, I can easily just click this button and it pulls right out and I can just let them continue to sleep, sleep in here. And here's the second one. When there's double bassinets, the girls are stacked on top of each other more it's, than they normally would be. So normally we would have Scout down here and Davy up here. However, Scout was more of a kicker. And so Scout goes on the top. Davy, so we swapped them. <laughs> yeah. But the great thing is there's tons of space. She's not claustrophobic down there. We will leave this up, but you can easily put down, the cover down. Out. We just leave it for sun purposes, but these just snap on. So you can easily take that on and off, but it's super cozy down there. And then here's the full setup. I know every time we take the girls on walks in this, I'm always like, oh, I wish I could be inside. I know, so I want my down. own cozy pod. And then <laughs> these have a sunshade and these bassinets also came with a rain cover that goes over them. It's really, they're really great. We've used them a couple times on walks with the girls. Yeah, and it's and nice. Not only does it protect them from the wind, it also, like you said, yeah, it's for rain too, which is great. And it just, so it has a clear cover on the top, which I like. And it's just inside. And it wraps around the entire bassinet. So you still have easy access to help with binkies. Which is really nice. So they have a little breathable area and like this even has mesh on it. The thing I really love about Thule is I feel like they really were thoughtful with everything. Like all the fabric is UPF 50 plus. It has little sun shades that pop out. Inserts inside unzip if you need to clean it. These bassinets actually collapse so you can store them. So I feel like there's a lot of things that they really just were thoughtful about in the design of this stroller. This is how we did our configuration when we went to Disneyland and it was so awesome it's because the there's best. nowhere to set down your baby. It was the best thing ever nice. having yeah. these. Especially with two where you're like, you gotta set one down while you're holding one or three one. Especially yeah. if we did like rider switch or anything like that. We wanna show you the storage compartment. It's the Upper Baby Vista had a bigger storage compartment slightly, but this one, I honestly feel like is the perfect size. It zips, it Velcros. This is the Fawn diaper bag and it is ginormous. <laughs> it's seriously a huge diaper bag. And the nice thing is there's still room on the sides for, like for or things. Or bottles mm -hmm. or... But I honestly just leave it in there and if you put the diaper bag with it facing out, you can just unzip it and easily grab stuff. All right, Jake's gonna show us how to collapse these. You just gotta get it just right. There we go. And then it collapses down. Then you can just have all of your stroller parts and a big bin when you're not using them. What do you think of your big girl chairs? Yeah, I think this they is the first them. time these two have tried them. I think they like them a lot. I think so they're too. Ready to go on a walk and an adventure and see everything. Yeah, living the life right here. Binky and a toy. Whoa. Let's go get daddy. Yikes. Let's get him. Let's get him. <laughs> oh no. I think these girls are ready to go out on a walk. Are they smiling? I think so. Are you girls smiling and having fun? <laughs> yeah, Davy is especially. So this has a pretty sweet turning radius on it. It turns really well. <laughs> is that making you guys dizzy? 
Are you getting dizzy? We wanted a stroller that screamed adventure <laughs> and something that we could take with us on all our travels, no matter what the road pavement would be. Thule is like an adventure brand and it just seems like a perfect fit. It does so good on things. <laughs> yeah, there's these nice, there's like shocks in the back. Let's see how those go down. Yeah, yeah little shocks. It has this lock back here too, so you can lock it and it works easy. What do you think, girls? You like it? Ready to adventure? Something that's really nice is you can move this from either side to get them in and out. So this is really cool to see. Belts are a five point harness and it has this strap on the side so it holds them really secure and snug, especially when they're really Wiggly. little. Because our girls are almost 15 pounds now, so they're still little. We wanted to point out too on these chairs, the five point harness, and you can move these to adjust to your baby's height. One thing that I feel like is really helpful when deciding what stroller is to see how it works in action. So you saw us push it around, but I wanna show you. So this is how I leave it with the attachments on for the car seat. And I just put it all together in the car. And I just leave it like that and I shut my car. But I wanted to show you guys how, when it's just me with the girls, how I do it. So I just pull it out and it's awesome. This it just pops on out. I forgot to tell you, I put the brake on it. <laughs> so then I grab one girl and I put on the attachment. And I also keep my diaper bag in the back so then I can just put it in the car too. So I just put those on, close it and I'm ready to go. That's a wrap on our Thule Sleek and why we ended up picking that stroller for our twins. <laughs> Seek's getting a drink of water right now. <laughs> but we seriously love it and feel like it works for our adventure lifestyle and on the go and being able to have something that's like easy. And we have loved it. We've taken it to Disneyland and we've taken it on different trips and it has been awesome. Champ. Yeah. Let us know if you have any questions or tell us about your favorite stroller in the comments below. Yeah, I'm curious to hear. There's lots of great ones out there, but this is why we went with the Thule Sleek and we have loved it. And so we thought we needed to share. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. See ya.